Hello and welcome to our first video about continuous controllers. Last time we talked about switching controllers and now we're going to talk about our first method of continuous controllers. Here, this is our control loop. There is some system transfer function which will bring our correcting variable to our regulated variable yeah? and our controller transfer function, regulator transfer function, which will translate the difference, the controlling difference, to a new correcting variable. So far so good. Yeah? First controller type, first type of this transfer functions yeah, is the so-called P controller. Yeah. In a P controller, the transfer function of the P controller is a P element. Yeah. So it is FR for P controller is KP. Just some factor. Okay? It's the gain, controller gain. Uh, proportional factor, controller gain, Regelverstärkung in German. That's the P controller. Let's think, let's imagine how it is working. So there's a difference between the wanted value and the regulating variable. Let's say this is the wanted value. There is a difference. And here, let's say this is the current value of x. Okay. Then we have the time. Here we have x from t and w from t. So we'll now draw the time. In the beginning there's a huge difference, so this will be big. Okay. So the reference variable will change quite fast. It will go up. Okay. Then the difference is not that high anymore and this will be reduced. Okay. So it will not grow that fast anymore. Again, it changed. This is not that big anymore. It will again not grow that fast anymore, not that fast anymore, not that fast anymore. And so at some point in time, it's just enough. It's just enough that we have a constant deviation between remaining constant deviation between the reference value and the regulated value, controlled variable, just because I need some difference here to bring enough power to the system to just maintain this variable at this state. Okay. So a B controller at standard transfer elements here yeah, does have a staying difference. Okay. Bleiben der Regelabweichung. There is something left. It will not, in common case, it will simply not be able to bring the regulated value, the controlled variable, to the reference variable. P controller not possible. And special, special systems. It might happen. If the system, if the system's behavior is like an integrator, then this is okay. For instance, I will write here just common case. And here we make another example. And here we write fs from s 
means an integrator. Let's think about a bucket. We want to fill the bucket to a certain level. This is the bucket level. And the controller is controlling a valve which let water flow in. How will this behave? This is the wanted behavior. At the beginning we again have a big big difference. So our X will grow very fast. Then the difference is getting smaller and the regulator will reduce. Will reduce. It's basically the same game, however, this time it will reach. It will reach the end value. Why? Because in worst case, the controller, in this case, in our example, is stopping to fill in water. Yeah? But up to then, it always fills water and the water will not get away from the bucket. It will simply not get away from the bucket because it's accumulated there, it's integrated. Yeah? All the water which was rushing inside is inside the bucket and will not leave. Here maybe, this is maybe a room temperature or something like this, it will go away to the cold outside. Here on an integrator case we will reach, we'll reach the end value because now we're stopping the water flow but we already reached the correct value and if the value is going down again yeah, if the level is going down again we will open a little bit and water starts to drip in drip in and it will be filled up again so on special on special systems a p controller works quite fine common case when there is no integrator inside then a p controller will end up in a uh, different controlling difference. B controller. B controllers, big advantage. B controllers are reacting very fast. Okay? There is a big difference. Back! It immediately reacts. Yeah? It is not waiting for something. It reacts. B yeah? controllers are fast, but usually we say we have a difference, remaining difference. This would be a classical case where P-Controller is best. So that's about the P-Controller. Next time we're talking about the second type, the I-Controller. Okay, integration controller. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.